I think once we were told the situation and that we didn't have time to wait for a full heart, um, he was basically already in heart failure pretty much right out the gate. There wasn't really many options. So it was basically like if something happened, we would resuscitate him and hope for the best, um, which is really hard and scary to hear. I mean, Nick and I had a conversation of, is Owen here to be a donor for other babies? Which is probably the hardest conversation you can ever have as a parent. The problem is in this day and age, it takes about six months uh, for a child his age to get a heart. And we didn't have that time. Even though we had him listed for a normal heart transplant, we suspected we weren't going to make it that far. When we have to replace valves for children and we have to use non-living tissue to, to do that, we know that those valves aren't gonna grow with the patient. Well, what if we were able to, to get fresh valves uh, from a donor uh, that were still living? And so this technique of partial heart transplant or living valve replacement is finally for the first time addressing the problem that children have had, which is their valves and their implanted tissue don't grow along with them. And it's important for these kids to only have one operation, if at all possible. Uh, it's, it, it's a lot on a family, it's a lot on a child uh, to have one heart surgery, uh, let alone to have multiple heart surgeries over a lifespan. Owen's operation went very well, and within just a few weeks, was already out of the hospital at home with his family. Both of his valves, now four and a half months after his operation, are growing. They're fully competent, they don't leak at all, and there's no indication that, that he's having any ill effects of having these living valves in place. If I had to describe it in one word, I'd probably say like miraculous, just because you don't know what's gonna happen, and this could be the last. <laughs> This could be the last time I see my son. Um, <laughs> the fact that not only he's he's okay, but he's thriving, really, <laughs> gives a lot of hope for future babies that have to go through this. Um, all of his doctors are beyond thrilled at how well he's doing. He's not behind at all developmentally, anything like that. So we're all just kind of in Owen's world right now, and he's kind of telling us what's going on, and he said everything's good. <laughs> Uh, this could be applied well beyond um, this particular case of, of truncus arteriosus. There are a number of congenital heart lesions in which we eventually have to replace arteries and valves, and this can help countless children in the future uh, to allow them to have growing tissue, growing valves uh, that could potentially limit their operations and prolong their lives. <laughs>